Many families of the 17 people killed in the Parkland, Florida school massacre are applauding the arrest of former deputy Scott Peterson, who is accused of failing to keep students safe. This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. It's a step towards more accountability for letting my daughter get murdered. After more than a year demanding Scott Peterson be held accountable following one of the nation's worst school shootings, loved ones of the 17 students and staff killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School expressed some relief on Tuesday. It's absolutely a nightmare and this is, this is the only thing we wanted for us, what we've been fighting for. Fred Gutenberg, whose daughter Jamie died, tweeted following Peterson's arrest, rot in hell, you could have saved some of the 17. Well, Lori Alhadef lost her daughter Alyssa. It's very painful for me to know that he had a gun. He was supposed to, to act. He had a duty to act. That was his job. Peterson was charged following a 15-month investigation. The 56-year-old faces 11 criminal counts, including child neglect, culpable negligence, and perjury. Surveillance footage shows Peterson never confronted the 19-year-old gunman during the February 2018 shooting. Instead, a commission report says he hid for about 48 minutes after the first shots. Peterson could be heard radioing for backup during the rampage. There is a difference between cowardice and criminal activity. I think what you found here is uh, there are examples of both. In an interview a year ago, Peterson said he is not solely responsible. I never had a chance I never thought even for a moment of being scared or a coward because I was just doing things the whole time. Peterson's attorney does not believe his client can be prosecuted on child neglect charges because he was not, quote, a caregiver of the students. Peterson was booked in jail with bail set at $102,000. Uh, he is uh, in the same jail, actually, as the confessed shooter.